Hey guys, it's early October and I'm out here to show you what I ended this season with. So here's what's in my bag. Start with the putters. Been putting this season with wizards. I happened on one by chance and really fell in love with it. And I know it's it can get tricky to find the right plastic for you. But once you do, I really think the plastic makes the difference. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as a P1X, maybe a touch more stable. So, been really clicking with this this year, heading more pots, longer pots, and my confidence is up. Uh, so, my main putting putter is Wizard in eraser plastic. Nice, creepy plastic, baseline plastic. Really good feel. Then I also have another wizard in the bag. Uh, organic wizard with uh, less white design. This is uh, like my lucky charm. Just something fun to have in the bag. Really like this disc. I play a lot of one disc rounds with this. So this is kind of for up shots or like longer putts if I want to try and throw something in. It's got good touch, but this is more like a feel-good disc in the bag, like Germ says. As for the main approach disc, I have a P3X in D-line plastic. So this is a new addition this year. They start out pretty overstable, but in baseline plastic they uh, beat into very straight flyer pretty quickly. So this is a very neutral disc. It doesn't turn over, but it doesn't fade up fade either. So this is kind of uh, replaced my P1X's as a throwing putter. It's got a little bit lower profile for clean release every time and the flight is pretty much the same. So always throw this for approaches whether it's slight anhyzer or hyzer or straight shot. And this is just to really stay in the fairway. So for example if there's a long wooded tunnel hole that I can't reach with anything and if I try to throw it far with drivers or anything I might get off the fairway pretty likely so I can just throw this two times and drop in the par and move on to the next hole. On to the mid ranges there's the workhorse so color glow Eagle McMahon MD3 the crown eagle edition these are very flat, very comfortable, excellent feeling plastic. So this is a dual mid-range. I can throw anhyzers with it, hyzers with it, straight shots, anything. This is really good disc for a lot of shots. Doesn't have much fade, stays straight. And then to pair that off, uh, there's Glow MD4, uh, Simon Lizette Fantasy Doubles editions. So this is a good pair for that MD3 because this has fade also and it pans out of Anheuser's a little quicker so I can know that if I want that difference in the shot I can move up to this disc. Also flick flicks with it are good, also Anheuser flicks, everything. So it's just a slightly more stable pairing for the MD4 and it has also fade so if the hole is straight for maybe 80 meters and then fade I can hit hit it with this and if it's just a straight shot with 80 meters then with the MD4 and the MD3. One more mid-range the Scott Withers flat top or it's actually concave topped uh, color glow getter. I used to have a Justice in the bag but I lost it this uh, uh, season didn't end up replacing it I heard that these are consistently very very flat and they are. So I got one of these and this is probably the most overstable disc I've ever thrown. It's, I mean, it doesn't fly at all. It doesn't want to fly, it wants to get to the ground as soon as it can. So it's uh, very very predictable. Always know what it's gonna do straight away to the left on a backhand shot and then uh, also can throw steep hyzers with it and it's gonna spike into the ground immediately. So need to have a overstable mid-range in the bag and for me there's nothing really more overstable than this. 
move on to the fairways. The second round Sea Lion FD that's been in the bag for a while. Uh, stiff, flat, uh, quite stable, but still doesn't have a big fade. So this is kind of the driver version of a mid-range that stays straight. And I will usually use this if there's a little bit of wind or if I just want to uh, hit the straight shot with a lot of power and have it go straight. So I won't go to a very flippy disc in those situations. I don't hyzer flip a lot of stuff so I usually just want to throw flat and have it stay flat. Otherwise I would just throw a more understable disc on a hyzer. This is an excellent disc for flick and hyzers also. So if I'm pinched to the side of the fairway and I can only reach out with the uh, flick, I can get it to go a long way and then pan out. So a very trusty disc. Another fairway and this is a new addition this year. So the retooled uh, FD2 in shimmer plastic, the Konopiste edition. Uh, this is very overstable, trustworthy. Uh, Mid-range, uh, use, it, use it a lot for flicks, go straight for a while and then pretty dumpy fade. And the same thing for backhand, also like spike hyzers I want to range accurately. So this has been pretty good addition this year. It wasn't what I expected from this disc, but um, uh, it's usable for an overstable disc. And Lastly, for the fairways, FD3 in glow plastic. So I finally took out the flat top Firebirds out of the bag because this, this FD3s in glow plastic are very flat and very stable. So these replaced them in my bag. So this is very, very overstable and dumpy. So I know. I can throw this in any situation and have it do the same thing always. Big fade. I'll throw it on a flex to get it a bit further, but it will still fade out sharply and dump and stay in the place. Very good disc. Then the control drivers. I have three of them. All are CD2s in S line plastic. Really. Loving this disc. It's sneaky long yet controllable and everybody should have one. So I have three different abilities. Uh, this reinvent retro stunt one is the most understable. It's flat and I can get it to flip and get it to hold a straight line for a long time. It's good for very long slide anhyzers also. So, step up from stability, I have a wing stamped, really cool, swirly one. Got this from uh, European Open Pro Shop last time, it was around here. And this is uh, has a little bit more dome, so it's more uh, stable, but not overstable still. So I can throw this a bit harder, have it go straight. And it might have a little bit of fade at the end, or I can, if it's a little bit windy, I can still trust this to stay straight. And lastly, really cool stamp, Dena Vici, Roaming Thunder, CD2. This has the most dome and is the most overstable of the three. A little bit of pop top. So, this is almost kind of in the PD category of things. But if it's uh, noticeably windy, I can still throw this hard into a headwind and then it will fly straight. Otherwise, it will have that gradual fade. Really controllable. It's kind of like, like I said, like a PD in my bag. But it's very trustworthy in the wind. And I can get the CD2 flight out of it in those situations. Really loving the stamp. The rainbow foil is my favorite. Then lastly, Big distance discs. Uh, so the Glow Sea Line PD2 new disc this year, and this is easily the best new disc this year. It's the every man's PD2. So even me with a medium arm can really get some good distance out of it, and still 
it's got pretty hefty fade at the end so I know even if I turn it over it's gonna go a long ways and then fade back same thing with the uh, forehand I can get really good distance out of it because it flexes a little and then fades back so excellent feeling plastic really long PD2 yet with trustworthy fade even for uh, mediocre players like me lastly the fastest disc in my bag Originally got this because of the cool stamp, a, a really big Nicola Crasto fan um, all the way from when I started disc golf and uh, I don't usually keep a lot of wall hangers only, I like to throw all of my discs and I noticed that this disc is a really long flyer also, so it's a legacy rampage uh, it's uh, maximum uh, width trim, it's got really low uh, PLH and quite big dome so I can get really good distance out of it even f with my arm so I'm throwing like uh, 110 meters with it which is really good for me uh, I haven't really found anything like this with Discmania maybe the G-Line uh, DD2 could be one I had one but I couldn't get the same flight out of it as this one so uh, at the fastest Point of my bag and also the slowest point of my bag I have other stuff than disc mania otherwise it's all it's all in there so this is my maximum distance disc and it's still not only for maximum distance I can uh, shape lines with it too and even throw it in in woods if I know I need to get far and then a little bit of fade I can turn it over for maximum distance so I can do quite a lot of stuff with this. Oh. Really loving the stamp and the flight. So that's all what's in my bag. See you next year.